Ah. Uh, yep. The seven seas. Where am I? I can't believe they put the jump button at ZR because they have no other area for it. There, on the horizon. That is our destination, Nidal. Dragon Roost Island. What a nice place. Ah, uh, this, this is nice. I like this one. High atop this island's peak lives the spirit of the skies, a great dragon by the name of Valu. Cool. You must go see this dragon and request from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. You got it. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait just a moment. This is the Wind Waker. It is a baton of the sorts that was used long ago when the people played music and prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. You got it, buddy. First, conduct three-fourth time. You got it. Up, down, right. Understood. Very nice. That was splendid. Next is four for time. I feel it. I like that. Oof. That's it, Nidal. That was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. You can also conduct with it in six four time by you tilting. You would do well to remember that. Oh. We got it. You receive the legendary Wind Waker. By using this magical conductor's baton, you can borrow the power of the gods. Sweet. Gotta do what we gotta do. It's time to go up. I was wrong. Oh, by the way, this will work. Come on now. There we are. Hey, hey, hey. There you are. And lob. What's over here again? Ah. Yep. For later. We, uh, we gotta remember that. We gotta. Oh, sh Ah. That was just not okay. Oh. Well, I mean, you can't really blame me too hard for attempting such a thing, can you? Hmm. All right. I'm taking that shortcut. Just gonna come over here and grab a little something. Sometimes you just need to check. There appear to be markings that indicate specific directions. <clears throat> up, left, right. Damn right. Up, left, right. This feels good. I love hearing these tracks again. It's been too long. You learn Wind's Requiem. Yep, that's a mighty nice breeze. Hey, how you doing, bud? The name's Ephos. I'm the god of winds. Oh, wow. So you're the new Wind Waker, are you? No, I'm about 11 years old now. Well, 10 in a month. Great, great. For a beginner, you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tune you just picked up? Well, it gives you control over the direction of the wind's blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing or a very bad thing. You want an example of it being a bad thing? Then you should see my brother. It saddens me to say that my brother, Cyclos, is miffed about his monument here being broken, and now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. So if you encounter any cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me, will ya? 
And that is my request for you. You got it, God. And yes, I am absolutely referring to him as God. Because, I mean, come on. I'm the Wind Waker. He is the God of Winds. He is my God. <laughs> There's no possible way to refute, like, that logic there. Come on now. You gotta make sure to respect your titles. And that's the only way to respect mine. Idol. Idol, is that you? It is. I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she... About that? Don't need to bring it up. Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Nidal. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I've told so many people here about you, and all of Rito are very concerned. I'm certain that the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our heir. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Nidal. I'll be waiting. Goodbye, friend. Damn, dude. I feel like he's absolutely the type of friend to run everywhere. Like, the moment you ask for, like, a glass of water and you're just trying to ask where the bottles are so you can get your own fill. He books it. Straight to a glass. Goes to, uh, whatever he's trying to fill it with, whether that be, like, uh, I don't know, fridge water, you know, like that. But, nah, he's, he's moving all the time. Ah, so you're a Nidal, are you? Quill has told me much about you. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you'll let us know if there's anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice that raging dragon perched atop the mountain? As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. We do so by the grace of the Sky Spirit, Valu. When a reader reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of a dragon roost to receive a scale from the great dragon. It is this scale that enables the reader to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Valu on Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. As Chieftain of the Rita, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Nah, I'm just gonna do it for you. Sound good? Chieftain, what will you do of consulting Nidal with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, Nidal is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. You want my son to trauma dump on this 11 year old? That may be. Let me be direct. My son, Kamali, is of age to earn his wings. Yet, he's weak in some ways. And in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? Hell yeah! He gotta learn today what courage is all about. I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible, so that we may better help you with ours. With yours. I have something I wished for you to give to my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I'm counting on you. You got it, big guy. Here, Nidal, take this with you. Who knows? It might come in handy. Honorary mailman, let's go! Finely crafted bags like this are used by Rita Postman everywhere. So many pockets, it can hold many items. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the Great Valu to us. In the meantime, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. I'm gonna do both, actually. I'm gonna have my cake and eat it, too. Have two cakes. 
Just like Miles Morales has always told me. Wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. Who keeps talking about my clothes? You're an idol, aren't you? Oh me? I'm an attendant to the Great Sky Sphere of Alu. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. So you ain't nothing yet. Now what am I thinking? Here, this is from the chieftain. Nidal, he wants you to give this directly to Prince Kamali. Why can't you just do it? I don't see why not. Is it a no girl's room? I feel that. You accepted father's letter. It is a letter from a father addressed to his son. Since you've just received a fine delivery bag, why not use it to carry this letter down to Kamali? When you want to take it out, choose your delivery bag. The room way in the back on the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. You have to go down a couple steps to get there. When you meet Prince Kamali, please don't get offended by his manner. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, um, listen, Nidal. I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Roost Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. You got it, ma'am. However, I don't really care about the prince. I got a job that I want to do. Well, now, I've not seen your young face before. Nope, don't believe so. Hmm? You wouldn't be here in response to our posting for some part-time help, would you? I am here for exactly that. Oh, excellent. That's good. But first, to see if I can use you or not, I need to give you a little test. Just a small one. Match the seal on the em envelope with the same icon on the shelf and throw the letter onto that shelf. Real easy. Simple. Oh, you got it, buddy. Oh, yeah. Gotta make sure the D-pad works, though. Oh, it do. Oop, I took long way. Yeah, this this is the gameplay I've always wanted. This is it. Mhm. Mm oh, I love it. No! Twenty-six letters. Great. Good. Terrific. You pass. Okay. You get one rupee for every two letters, so that comes to a grand total of thirteen rupees. Am I right? Come back anytime. I mean it. Anytime. The more letters for you sort, the more you'll earn. Not a bad deal for both of us. I want more money. Hey, you ready for work? Yes. 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 Ooh. Oh, I'm loving this. I like this. I don't know what it is, but this simple task is something I'm loving. I think it's the tiny animation of them being thrown that I, I'm kind of in love with. No! I almost got 30. That's 29 letters. Splendid. Super. Hmm. Your salary this time is one rupee per letter, so I need to pay you 29 rupees. Oof. Come on by anytime. I mean it. Anytime. Better you do, the higher your salary will become. That's economics. I want more. Give it. Yes. Ah. Uh, okay, I see how it is. I got a demotion after the very first time I did this. And now <laughs> I'm working back up to where I got interviewed. That ain't right, bro. You have amazing coordination. Seriously, I'm stupefied. Incredulous. We veterans do this all day long, and even we have a hard time reaching that amount. I've got to give you some more money. You got to. Three rupees per letter comes to 90 rupees. How's that sound? I love it. Hey, your name wouldn't happen to be Nada, would it? It is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I thought you looked like the lad the chieftain was talking about. 
In that case, I should have expected you to be able to pull off something like this. I've heard all about you, yes, I sure have. You've had a rough time, Nidal. I feel bad making you help us. But hey, things are looking up. Our new helpers just arrived. Maybe you can give them some advice the next time you come by. I am the greatest male boy to have ever lived. Hey, buddy, how you doing? You good? A letter from my father? Oh, sure. Telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's like he still has to get a scale from Balu. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose on other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Balu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scare from him when he's so upset? What, are you trying to say that you can calm down Valu down? Psh, that's a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what, if you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles in Dragon Roost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. Oh, you got it, little man. Watch what I can do. That kid doesn't know who he just set this challenge up to. He just doesn't. He does not understand in the slightest. Hello, friend. I guess it's to be expected in this heat, but just look at it down there. Dragon Roost Pond is completely dried up. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's pretty dry, all right. Oh, I feel robbed. Uh, unfortunate, but you know what? We, we, we hit those. I saw him. I really shouldn't, though. I shouldn't, and I won't, and... Hey, man, I'm the new part-timer! Green clothes and a green hat. Pardon me asking, but you're an idol, aren't you? He knows. Aha! I knew it! You're a legend among the part-timers here. I really admire you, man. Just once, I'd love to see the legendary 25-letter sort. Do your best, man. Oh, buddy. No warning or nothing? Just told me to do it? Damn. I like that. But you are something else with it. Come on. you've ever seen and the best I've ever done oh my gosh 31 letters amazing man I'm so impressed seriously man I've got to tell my mom back home all about this I just gotta I've got a favor to ask you man I'm still new here so I'm not allowed to leave so would you mind putting this letter to my mom in the post box for me thanks a lot man You accepted a note to mom. It's so sad you could almost cry. I guess I could just throw it in here with all the other letters, but I just can't bring myself to do it. It's against the rules, man. He got all my respect.